Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. It's Leonard here again from DataLeonard.com, Data Marketing Consultant. And in this video, I want to walk you through on how to use, um, navigate through your cache FX on your mobile phone. So if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time new videos like this are published. So in this video, basically what I want to show you is how to navigate through your cache FX account using a mobile your mobile phone just a, your one mobile phone um one thing i want you to know is that cash fx do not, do, doesn't have an app so you can only access it through a browser and that is why i'm doing this tutorial to show you how to do that with your phone so please pay attention to everything i have to say here so that you can be able to use it to um, manage your phone so what i will start with is to log in and then show you how to set up your authenticator and after setting up your authenticator, I'll show you how to navigate, how to go to Luno, copy your address, and then come back and update it. And all that I will do using uh, my Android phone. And you too can be able to follow this tutorial and use it to update your account. So let me quickly go to my phone and show you how that works. So here I am on my phone. As I said earlier, Cash Effect doesn't use, um, yeah, it doesn't have an app, so you have to access it through a browser. Now on my phone, there is a Chrome browser on my phone. This by default comes with every Android phone, or you just click on your Google Apps. You will see your Chrome browser there. I have removed mine from inside this app, uh, but the Chrome browser is here, so I'll click on the browser to open it up. You can use Mozilla, you can use Chrome, but I prefer Chrome because it is easier. So just use Chrome to assess your account. Some persons use, um, I can't remember, there are some funny, funny browsers that people use on their phones that load very slow and all those kind of stuff. Please, if you don't have Chrome, you can go to Play Store and download Chrome to use them. But I use Chrome and I want you to equally use Chrome. So once you log into your account, first we'll start with the, authenticate, or the Google authentication. Once you log into your account, this is what you get. They will tell you protect your account. Once you have upgraded and you log into your account, CashFS will notify you to upgrade your account. Just click on Setup Now. And once you click on Setup Now, there are videos here that actually walk you through on how to do that. But I just want to do this. When you scroll down, you see the scan or enter the secret key to your authenticator app. This is what you are going to do now if you are doing this with just one phone there is no way you can scan this or um, this code this qr code yeah, there is no way you can scan it so the only option would be to set it up with using the the secret key and that is what i'm going to show you how to set up the authenticator using the secret key because you are doing it with one phone except you have you open it if you open your cash effects account on your laptop or on any other phone you can now scan this using this other one but here we are going to use this secret key so in order to do that first i will have to minimize this app i will need to minimize this app this um this google this particular browser here in order to minimize that you see this three button down here this is my android phone i don't know the kind of phone you are using but there should be a minimize button on the phone that you are using so here is to go back the first here, uh, icon here is to go back to where brought me here if i click on it it will take me back to my browser don't click on this one this middle one is to close it um entirely this middle one now is to close it and go back to your app this is the minimize button the one here some persons have this minimize button by their right but mine is on the left so if i click on it this is how it minimize all the app it will not give you option of all of the apps that are open on your phone so if I want to open any other app, I can go ahead and open it. But this is how you minimize it using this. But for now, what I will have to do is just to click on this middle to close everything and then go back to my phone. If you don't have the Google Authenticator app, please just click here. If you are using Android, click on the Google Play. If you are using iOS, you click on the App Store. If you, if you click here, it will automatically take you to your play store to download the app that is if you don't have it already so it takes you to play store to download the app that for setting up your authenticator please now i have downloaded this app already so all i just need to do if if you don't if you have not downloaded it you will see where it says install so just click on it to install the app but i've downloaded it already so i'll go ahead and click on open to open up the app 
once I click on open, you see all of the the apps, the setup that I've done here already. So in your own case, it's going to be blank and it will ask you to set up. So if you set up, if you have set this up already, click on this plus button here, the one down here um, to set up. But to show you how this works, just click on the plus button here and you'll be given the option to either use a scan um, to scan a QR code or to enter the setup key. So in this case, we are going to use the setup key. If you click on the scan, it will open up your, your camera and ask you to scan. But here we don't have, we are doing it on one phone so we cannot scan. We are going to use the secret key. So I just click on the back button here to take me back. And then click on the plus again. We are going to enter a secret key here. So I click on the secret key and it will ask you to name the account and enter the key. So now to go back to CashFX, I will have to minimize this using this button here. Once I click on it like this, it minimizes and show me all of the apps that are open on my phone. So I will go back. I'm going back to CashFX. This is CashFX. I will click on my browser and it opens up CashFX. When it opens up CashFX, you will need to copy this secret key where it says secret key. And to do that, just click and hold this key. So to highlight and select this key, click and hold this secret key here. Sorry. Click and hold the key here. Once you click and hold on it, this will be selected. So drag this to the secret key here and drag this here. The only thing we are copying, we are not copying the secret key. We are only copying the key alone. The secret key right up here, we are not copying that. So once you highlight this this way, it will tell you to copy. Just go ahead and click on copy. So once you copy, once again to highlight this, hold, press and hold this secret key here. Once you hold it down, drag this icon to this other side and drag it out of this we are only selecting the key you can type it if you want or write it down somewhere and type it out but this is a, an easier way to do it you just select it and click on copy then when you copy the key you minimize the app again once you minimize it go to the authenticator app and open it up here you can just go ahead and name it as cfx login or CFS Authenticator, whatever you want to do, just go ahead and uh, click on it and then click and hold this icon here. Just click and hold it down. Once you release your hand, this will come up and you go ahead and paste. So when you paste in the secret key here, you can use time base or you use um, the, the timer, the count, the counter base or whatever, anyone you want to use, just go ahead and select it, but just leave it as, as, as the default, uh, with the default selection here, which is the time base and go ahead and click on add. So once you add up this, it will automatically be added to your Google Authenticator and you will see it listed here. So like I have cash effects, I have Facebook, I have blockchain and all of this, I have them. So in your own case, it may be ju it just be one. And one thing you should notice is that this blue icon here is always changing. This is a timer. So once this changes, once this comes out, the time, the number here changes. So you will need to be fast about this if you want to copy it. So let's say when it's half, you just wait for it to count when you want to log in because each time you log in, you must use this code. So when, once it's timing out, just leave it. And when it begins afresh, so once this the new one starts, I will just click and hold this code down. Click and hold on it to tell you uh, code copied. Once the code is copied, you minimize this again and go back to your browser and where it says enter code, you click and hold it down and paste the code and click. If you are logging in, once you paste the code, you don't need to do anything. Automatically, CashFS will detect that the code has been pasted and then it will now redirect you to your dashboard. But if it is here, you just paste it and click on verify. That is when you are setting it up. Once you set it up, you just copy the code and then click on verify. And once it's verified, this authenticator will be set up and you have access to your dashboard. You can now access your dashboard and navigate through your dashboard. So basically that is how this authenticator work that is how you minimize this now if i don't set up this authenticator i won't be able so i will need to log into another account to continue this tutorial this is how to set up the authenticator if you want to set up your your luno app i'm going to do that because i just want to address everything in one video so let me log into another account and show you that i can't set this authenticator because this is not my account so i'm just showing you how to set it up and you just copy this key and then minimize this go to the authenticator app set it up copy it and go here to paste it 
So basically, this is how these two options works. So the next one now, I'm going to log into a new account and show you how to set that up as well. All right, so here I am on a new account. I just logged in and we are asked to put this authenticator. So I will minimize this again, open the authenticator, which I've already opened, and then I will allow this thing to time out so that um, the time of copying it to my app will not be timed out. If it times out, it will tell you, check your time and all of this error to be showing. So once this time out, as it's starting afresh, I'll just copy the cache effects uh, uh, code here. All right, so I just click and hold this down and it's copied. I'll minimize this again, go back to my browser and then click and hold this center here and paste. Once I paste it, CacheFS will automatically detect that the code has been pasted and it will now log me into my account. Now, when you log into your account, this is how it is. If you want to scroll down here and you are doing that, scrolling at the center where you see this flower uh, this followers challenge or whatsoever this 10k followers challenge if you are clicking on this banner to scroll down it won't scroll down please take note of this it will not scroll down if i want to scroll down i will need to come down here to this demarcation here and click and hold it to be able to scroll down but if you are just doing it within this banner here here it won't go this is an advert so doing it at the center here won't go so you do it here and do it here and keep scrolling down that is how you scroll down on your dashboard when you reach here and then to assess every other thing that is here is this three dotted line at the top here if you click on it you will see finance you will see dashboard you will see all of these options let me just click on it again so when you click on finance you will see your fast track the all the money you'll be earning um, from those you invite into the platform this is where you see them the trading pool at the daily result of your trading output that you'll be getting the unit level or metrics or just click on this and get used to um, the system you will see your balance that are ready for withdrawals and you can request for withdrawals down here and the network if you click on it you will see the uni level pending registered members all of these option resources if you want to see the uh, trading life um, when where if you want to see the trading as the system is trading from monday to friday you can use the web tv you will see the, the trading output for each of those but today um we start today so you won't be able to see the video if i click on the web trading and then you see your marketing tools you can click there then if you want to update your luno wallet for withdrawal you click on account once you click on account you go to where it says bitcoin wallet click on it this is where you are going to copy your luno wallet and paste here or your whatever bitcoin wallet you are using you're going, going to paste it where you say bitcoin address this is where you will paste the wallet so in order to do this i'll minimize this app again and open up my luno app so let me look for my luno app and open it up So this is the luno app you go ahead and open it up once you open it up if you are not logged in just log in um automatically log in so once i log in you see these tabs down here you click on wallet once you click on wallet you will see where you say buy sell send and receive if you want to update your cash fx account all you just need to do is just to click on receive and once you click on receive you will see this option here if you have not created any bitcoin wallet already you won't see there to tell you to create um, a receive address so you just go ahead and click on create the receive address and select any of these that you want to create you can create bitcoin bitcoin cash ethereum or litecoin but if you have created it already and you click on receive you will see where it says bitcoin so btc just click on it when i click on it it will come up this way this is the address you want to copy this address where it says address this is address you just click on this icon here once you click on it to tell you address copy it to clipboard so just click on this icon here to copy this this is the address we want to copy you click on it again the address have been copied now you minimize this and go back to your browser once you minimize it you click on your browser and go back to your browser then you can now click and hold here click and hold it down and the paste option will come up and you paste your address there when you paste the address you'll be asked to confirm that by putting in your two-factor authentication code here so in order to do that you minimize this again and go back to the authenticator app and open it up just look for the authenticator app in your phone and open it up and as this thing this blue is timing out please wait for it once it time out and it starts afresh you cannot click and copy 
So this is going out and as it's starting, I will just click and hold this down. Once I click and hold it down, it's copied. I can now minimize this, go back to the cache effects again, and then paste, hold, click and hold here to paste that code. Once you click on paste here, you click on save, and this will automatically be saved. This is where you, all your withdrawals will be sent to your Luno wallet here, and then from your Luno, you can now withdraw it to your bank account. I hope this is not too difficult. This is what you can do. Please don't click on the back button. The back button will take you back. The minimize button is what you will use to minimize and just use it to swap from one app to another, from one open app to another. This is what I, I want you to know so that you'll be able to manage this account yourself. So you just click on it to minimize. You go to cache effects with the browser. You click on it again to minimize. You go to Luno. You click in the again to minimize. Depending on what you want to do, you can go back to cash effects and then you start navigating your account using this. Now, if you want to log out, this arrow here after support, the arrow is to log out from your account. So once you click on this arrow, you will automatically be logged out of your account. I hope this video was helpful. Please, if you have any challenge, just leave a comment. I want you to listen to the video again and again and again until you get used to it. So um, until we see again in my next video, bye for now.